Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. The Clips app is out, and we're going to make some movies. How exciting. I have a word game that's going to keep you amused for hours. And I will color. Next on iOS Today. <laughs> <laughs> It's the iOS Today Show Ooh. with my favorites, Leo Laporte <laughs> and Megan Maroney. Yes, your favorites. Lunchette. It's yes. the cutest t-shirt ever. Oh, thank you. Even though I don't really get it. It's just a lunch pail with the word lunchette on it. And then it says Petaluma, California. Wait a minute. That's not the lunchette, the new restaurant mm -hmm. that your friends own. Yes. <laughs> in uh, downtown Petaluma. Yes. On, on, on Kentucky Street. Mm -hmm. Right yes. next to Acre Coffee. It's not it's that, that lunchette. It's that lunchette. Yes, it's healthy food to go. Pick I up and go. I want to go there now. Can I you go now? Should. It's got. I I highly recommend the trout salad. Do they have sandwiches? They have trout salad. sandwiches. I love the name though. Isn't the name? It's kind lunchette. Of, yes, my friend Naomi. We've been friends for a long time, oh, that's so and I'm cool. very I, excited for them. I'm excited for you. That them too. That's really mm -hmm. neat. Yeah. So if you're in Petaluma, check it out. Check out the lunchette. But it's a great name. We uh, are not going to be talking about lunch. I wish we were. I fasted <laughs> yesterday. You you're did? lucky you dodged a bullet. I could have been fasted today. Ooh. Boy, was I cranky, right? No, I'm going to try this new thing. Kevin Rose got me on this. You know, he has the app that we mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. called, what is it called? Zero Fast? Zero or? I can't remember. End or? Something about fasting. Stupid, dumb, don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then I started looking. He has some videos on there. It's really interesting. So I thought I'd try that as a way to lose weight and improve my health. You know, I have a fatty liver. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to. It's good for your fatty liver, apparently. Uh, so I don't think that's Kevin Rose's app. He recommended he it. He has a fasting he, app he that he a, made. Yes, I, he does. I I'm thought not, he just recommended no, it. He has I a can't. meditation app that he's working on. Um, how do you, this show is called How to, Well Do You Know Kevin Rose? I know him better than you do. <laughs> okay, he has a fasting app. He does definitely. I believe you. Um, he's also working on a meditation app, right? I don't know about that part. Okay. You know him better than I do. Of I course. think he's working on a meditation app. We have already gotten really distracted. Off track. Uh, uh, what are we going to do today? We're going to make movies. Yes. The Clips app came out. That's Apple's app that lets you make funny movies and share them really easily. Uh, super easy app. Funny how? Funny haha, uh, I amuse you? Funny as in funny looking? Uh, funny, funny as looking. in weird? Um, yeah, both, all. You can add <laughs> filters, stickers. You can make serious movies too, as we talked about. You can uh, make captions. I confess to be a little bit baffled by this app. Uh, Apple announced it uh, a couple of months ago. It came out just last week. Uh, it's free, which is great. I, Apple does picks odd things to make apps for. You know, some of the apps obviously you have a calendar app and a mail app that you need that for the for the pa iPad or the iPhone. But then they did a card app, remember? And then they mm -hmm. canceled that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they made a big deal about it. And then, so this is the new one is Clips. And it seems to duplicate functionality that I already have in things like Snapchat and Messenger that I, that I would more likely do in Snapchat or Messenger. Or is it more powerful than that? Well, it's a little more pow powerful, mainly that it lets you caption your videos. That's interesting. Uh, it works sometimes. I'll show you a couple I have uh, made. Would you like to see? I would like to see a couple. I got to plug in the. Oh, I can't plug in the headphone no, jack. No, you I? can't. Well, you'll just. <laughs> um, you can. Well, I also made some as well. I made a kitty cap, kitty oh. cap one. There's a kitty cap, and, and so that's a filter, the black and white filter, on there. And I am um, talking. Talking. Share it with me, and then I can play it on my iPad. Oh, I could do that. Couldn't yeah, you? it's that's what it's made for. Share. All right. So, uh, so actually, this is a good opportunity to show how you share. Mm -hmm. At the bottom, there is once you, now it's a little confusing it because when you're when you're actually working on the video, there's no share button. You actually have to then save it and be done with it, mm -hmm. and then the share button appears. And I could share it. I could probably. Uh, are you on? Uh, I don't see you on on uh, AirDrop. AirDrop. Do you um, have to tap air? Oh, no, those aren't airdrop. Those are your those most. Are your, those are your contacts. Those are my favorite people. Those are your in the favorite world. contacts. Would, so, you sh would airdrop show up on it's here? It's an airdrop down below. Air, um, <laughs> airdrop down like, below. Right there. 
Where do you see airdrop? Oh. Let me let me let me look do at you the have more button. Turned off. Uh, boy, you know, you'd think for people who host a show about iOS, we'd know a little bit more about how iOS works. You know, I guess I'm. We're not on the same network or something. I I, I thought it would just show up, but let me share it with you in over messages, right? Would yes, that, that would work, that right? That would work. Okay, so I'm going to send a message. I Actually, this is an interesting experiment because one of the things I don't like about messages is it will generally reduce the quality of this stuff. So uh, it, right now it says sharing video. What it really is doing is compressing the heck out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to share it to, to you. And... So this takes uh, shows how long it takes. So you see, you have uh, in here uh, the little player, but you also have the, the the stuff you're working on. And this was confusing to me at first is I had to finish what I was working on, press done, and then I could see the videos to share them, right? So it was a little confusing. I have other uh, videos in here too. But this is the one that I, I can share with you. Actually, I thought I had some other, some other videos in here. Does it automatically save it to your camera roll? No, I think you have to save. One of the share things is save to camera roll. See, that's uh, that's a little puzzling as well. I don't. It so saves it in clips, though. This is one I just made. You know, just fooling around. Well, I haven't gotten around. it yet. Are you sure well, it went through? Oh, there it is. Oh, here there, it is. You can show it's my so screen. Exciting. There we go, uh -huh. and let's make sure the volume is all I had, the way I up. should explain, I just finished watching all six episodes of the BBC Planet Earth 2, narrated by David Attenborough. Here you see, Phyllis Domesticus. Oops, sorry. Oh, I want to make it big, but I guess Here I you won't. see, Phyllis Domesticus. <laughs> the common household cat. A seemingly quiet beast... But when he sees a bird, beware. So it did that captioning automatically. Right. How much did that cost? Oh, Wait a minute, that's something else. I, <laughs> okay, another thing I don't like about clips. How did I know that was going to get included? Yeah. And yeah. apparently it's put music behind stuff that was just randomly shot. I want to make it big. apparently don't know how to use I'm clips. I love it. Um, well, I, I made a few as well. Um, <laughs> I'd like shall, to see yours. <laughs> shall we see what I made? Uh, let's see. I was making a documentary about the lighting of the gear. Okay. here it got mixed in with Phyllis Domesticus. Here's one, um, that I made and I, I didn't, um, I also used the captioning. Let's you know, watch it. We should have read the manual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the... <laughs> Woods to live no, deliberately. No, you're, you're not supposed to dictate it. You're not you're supposed I know, to I thought just I had talk. To. I know, now I realize that. You can pinch and zoom if and add a soundtrack. If you should think that's a good Black thing. Black and white. Uh, it has, a, has filters, kind of mm -hmm. like, you know, mm -hmm. Instagram. Or there's, there are a limited number. There's mm -hmm. a cartoon filter. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. Pinch, more pinching, more zooming. It's a much... <laughs> And the end. The end. Oh, okay. and somebody's calling. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We'll cut that part out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I did. Um, yeah. So, I thought you had to talk slowly for the captioning. <laughs> and I kept that in there to, to note that I, you don't have to. Let's let's see if it could. So, um, I noticed that when I do the David Attenborough voice, mm -hmm. it doesn't do as well. It said, yeah. It doesn't do accents great. You know, that's part of the mm -hmm. problem with clips. Um, but if but if you have a kind of uh, a, a midwestern accent, I guess it'll work just fine. So let's uh, let's let's do a little dictating right now. Okay. I have to, this is the clips. This is the manual. Just so you let's watch this. And Why learn would how to you do it. learn? Why would you read the manual when you have us? Um, who also haven't read the manual. <laughs> Apparently, it's in many languages. Poisson. All right, let's get started. But why wouldn't they put it in landscape? Okay. Now, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, do something here. Okay. And we'll just uh, see. Now, first, if you wanted to do dictation, you have to choose the dictation mode. And then when you choose the dictation mode, you have a variety of places you could put it. I like to put it right smack dab in the middle. And now watch. Here's what's... You have to go into record, okay? Here you see... The American show host. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> I had that. Can I have told well. you I don't like this program at all? Um, don't know why it's not doing what it's supposed to do. 
I feel like a moron. Why isn't it working? I had that problem too. Jerry Do you know was the doing, answer? Uh, no. Maybe it doesn't work as well on the iPad. I don't know. Oh, maybe because I have this plugged in? Oh, would your... Hello. I am talking to you right now. I don't know why I've stopped moving, <laughs> but I have. Now, so you're tempted to do that, but what it should do is just kind of allow you to dictate it like this. And you see, it's doing a pretty good job. It's as good as Siri is. In fact, it's the same, probably, technology. Let me see if mine works better, if you're doing something wrong. Yeah. Well, it worked. It okay, did now something. Okay, talk, talk. Okay, wait. Hold on. I pressed this. Okay. <laughs> now, speak. Hello there. My name is Leo, and I am your co-host on iOS Today. It's a wonderful day here in beautiful downtown Petaluma with the temperatures reaching 68 degrees uh, under sunny skies. Tomorrow, it's going to be a tempest, rainstorm, and uh, dogs and cats will pour from the sky. Okay, now let's see. I wish that it would be in portrait mode, but let's... How ready? often have we done that? My name is Leo, and I am your co-host on iOS Today. It's a wonderful day here in beautiful downtown Petaluma with temperatures reaching 68 degrees. <laughs> Look at the 68 uh, degrees, skies. though. Tomorrow, it's going to be a tempest, rainstorm, and uh, dogs and cats will pour from the sky. Now, is there any way to edit this after the fact? This is the thing sure. I found lacking. Can I fix the, uh, can oh, I fix the, the text? Oh, the text? Okay, so here's the edit button there. What can I do? <laughs> I don't... Can you, can, can you change that? So this is my kind of part of my problem is if it doesn't it, no no partic, no dictation's perfect mm -hmm. but if it's not going to be perfect then it needs to let you fix it. Yeah. Uh oh, I just edited it. But yeah, no, I didn't I don't It has the uh, edit tools that you'd be used to in mm -hmm. iMovie. It's a timeline and you can shrink it or stretch it and and stuff like that. And that's kind of cool. I can add that. I can add stickers. Um yeah, I don't I can that feels to me like a subset. In fact, what this feels to me like is is a kind of a Me Too program. Like Apple's afraid that Instagram and Face, uh, uh, Snapchat are stealing all of its mm -hmm. thunder. And oh, we could, we could do that too. But but Inst Instagram and Snapchat are tied to a social network, and you just do it in the app, and then you share it. I would guess most people do that. Now, of course, you can, and I do see this. Uh, create a, f a video in Snapchat, which you save out and then share in other ways. So maybe Apple said, well, we see people doing that. Maybe people would use clips to make a video oh. and then share it on Snapchat, which you can do. I think I fixed it. <laughs> Much better. We have no idea what Leo's saying at all. Hello there. <laughs> My name is Leo, and I am your co-host on iOS No, it's today. done. <laughs> it's a wonderful day here in beautiful downtown. Perfect. The temperature yeah. reaching 68 degrees. Yeah. Uh, it did some interesting guys, things. I mean, it tomorrow. saw 68 degrees, but then it thought Petaluma was Petler. Mm -hmm. Petler. <laughs> Petler. So, it's an. It's you know what the what what, what you're going to end up doing, and I think this is what people do. People like uh, Justine who are using it and want to you know show it off. They just keep doing it till it gets it right. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. The dictation is the only thing unique. Everything else in here, other apps can do. Exactly the same, right? Right. Listen, this isn't a cooking show. If this were a cooking show, we would have this down perfect. Well, you have some pretty good would... videos. It's as if. Not for this app. Right. But we like to show you that it's not as self-explanatory as it could be. Yeah. I'll um, show you. So I did. So uh, <laughs> I have a, a timeline in here. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, oh, I forgot to do new video. So now I have to scroll back. Or maybe I lost everything I did. Uh, this is this is why you don't want this program. Here, <laughs> I swear. So here's the filters. Um, you know, it's uh, there's only, come on, eight of them. And, you know. Even uh, even um, Prism does video now, mm -hmm. and so and they have dozens of uh, video filters. Um, you you know this is kind of cool. You showed how to use this, and mm -hmm. because like Snapchat, it knows the location. You know, well, it knows the location. Uh, it knows what time it is. Oh, there's Petalum. Snapchat will say things like, I'm yeah. traveling 70 miles an hour, you know, which caused some problems. <laughs> it, it'll give you a lot more information. And if you're in New Orleans, it has, hello from New Orleans. It has a variety of different, in fact, you know, why don't we look at Snapchat and, and, and see? I mean, it's just much, uh, you know, Snapchat just seems to do a better job of this. I just, I feel like, um, I feel like they could, this is not something that's going to just wow people. Uh, I, well, steal I, them away from uh, Snapchat, which is 
you know, clearly the point. Do you feel like you have a community on Snapchat that you, like, do you snap people? Yeah, it's not, you know, I'm an old guy, so it's not a big community. Yeah. But I look at people like my kids. Uh, mm -hmm. Henry uses it and not only as a community, this is his preferred way of communicating with everybody. Yes. They, don't, they don't even use messaging that much. They use no. Snapchat. No, I think I, there was a Piper Jaffrey study today. I think it's 80, it's over 80% once a month teenagers right. use Snapchat. Right. So uh, I'll show you the, the uh, filter capability here. So first you have to make it a selfie, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can slide over. Yeah, you all know about these. Mm -hmm. But look, I think if I keep going, there's a, oops, isn't there location? Maybe I'm, maybe yeah, I'm, there's location usually filters. Usually there's location They're stuff. called geo filters. But uh, the geo filters. See, happy national what day? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's national sh oh. sibling. Oh, it looked like shilling day, which would be perfect for me. Um, so that's cool. These are the kinds of things. Snapchat's updating it. Oh, little sneepy, sneepy Leo. <laughs> that's cool. So th I just feel like uh, people will try clips and go, yeah, mm -hmm. that's, nice. Yeah. But I think I'll use Snapchat. The only thing that, as far as I can tell, is unique is that dictation that caption. Thing. And Snapchat should copy it because everybody's copying Snapchat. Well, that's the so. problem is it, it, there's nothing Apple could do with a new app that Snapchat and Facebook couldn't copy immediately, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And Instagram. Um, so, you know, iMovie is the other app that Apple has had for a while and still works. It's four ninety nine dollars uh, for the iPad Oh, app. I can make myself a giant cracker. Let's oh, see. it's for pas Passover. It's a matzah. Let's see, matzah Leo. Matzah Leo. <laughs> oh, matzah Leo. Ooh. What? I know Snapchat What's coming out of my has mouth? a pension oh. to putting things in and out of your mouth in the filters. Well, it's looking for action. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> why not? Now, now Apple is never going to do a matzah cracker filter. It would be too undignified. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be too undignified, right? Oh. oh, that's nice. Now, where do I get the location stuff, though? Uh, uh, is it up here, maybe? It's, did you swipe left I or swiped, right? I swiped too far, I think. Did you swipe? I swiped too far. Maybe you take the picture you and then this? you... Oh, no, you out of the lenses area. I kept going. Okay, let's... Oh, my goodness. Tap foes. <laughs> oh, I look good with lipstick. You see why people... This is why Here. Clips is doomed. As Snapchat's too damn fun. Mm -hmm. So how did you do it? Well, here. No, no, just show us how you did it, not just show me the results. There. Oh. You're so. swiping the other way. After you, well, did a you have no. to do a video first. You do the video, then start swiping. Hey, boys and girls. 60 degrees. All right. Hey, boys and girls. Oh, okay, I get it. So now I'm... See, it knows I'm in Petaluma, but that's more fun than just... Petaluma. There's another fun one, right? So I get it. You can't do it on uh, on it. Uh. Now I can do it faster. You can do it backwards. Yep. I love this. What's that? Here's my altitude. Now, by the way, this is really cool. I've seen people more and more Snapchatting from airplanes. And like, you know, speed 600 miles an hour, altitude, you know, there you go, see? That's I'm not cool. moving. Except on United, it's not cool there. This is, there's a plethora of these. The other thing Snapchat does that's so smart is they change these all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So that encourage. what does that encourage? That encourages your constant use. That encourages you to log in every day. What's new? What, what, new, uh, what new filters do I have? What new things can I do? Oh, don't get me started on their addiction property. It's addiction. It is. It is. It's totally addictive. 15 years from so, now, we're going to say, why did we use this? Can I feel like, like this cigarette? is a lot like the Apple Cards app where it was kind of, oh, we could do that. In fact, Bill Atkinson, one of the Apple greats, the legend, the guy who helped create the Macintosh, told me that he showed Steve Jobs his photo card app, which we have loved. And it's still in, you know, out there and it's great. And I use it all the time. We sent our company Christmas cards using it. He said he showed Bill, Steve Jobs his uh, card app and Jobs watched you know like an hour demo uh -huh. oh and it, uh, like a month later apple comes out with its own mm. and i think this is the same thing with clips it's a lack of originality and just like the cards app it didn't supersede the better app from bill atkinson and others and eventually apple said yeah i guess that wasn't a good idea and they killed it and i know i wouldn't invest in the clips app at this point unless dictation's important to you i'm sorry i don't mean to be negative 
You can be negative. That's that's what we love about you. Well, it's one more tool and it's free. Why not download it? I mean, yeah. oh, I, I'm not going to delete right. it. If you want something a little more robust, you might try iMovie. That's four ninety nine. This is what's great to me. Apple, it's isn't it free if you get an, if you buy an iPhone or you have to buy it now? I used to be free. Oh. You have to buy it. Okay. Um, but this is a great. This is amazing, especially on the iPad. Yeah. So um, you can just you can make. Look what new, you made with this. Okay. Oh so I God, made a trailer. So um, let's let's take a look at this trailer I made this morning. Oh, we will play. <gasps> iOS Today Films presents based on a true story. Every neighborhood has a house that's different from the rest. So you need me to narrate it. Mm -hmm. On the scariest night of the year, <laughs> six friends will take a journey <laughs> and discover the secrets hidden within. And the music and the titles and the style and everything is built in. Mm -hmm. Iowa's Today, the scary movie. Isn't that great? That's all built in. That's the trailer uh, mm -hmm. template. Yeah! Isn't that great? Uh, and really all I did was add pictures. You just put I mean, clips you can, in. You know, and you it did all the fast the, cuts and the yes, you can jump change cuts. The name. Yeah, it did all that. It tells you, it gives you a guide. Um, See, so. this is impressive, Apple. This is great. The clips feels like you just tossed it out the window. This was made, created, and really, this has gotten better and better over time. I love iMovie. Well, I think that maybe they made clips because some people find iMovie to be too confusing. Well, it's intimidating. Yeah. But don't you, I, I, as you can see, we were a little confused by clips. <laughs> yes, that's true. But it's it's easy. It's more simple. So yeah, like I just delete that. Maybe I want a, another picture. I just go through uh, my photos and I do use that. And there we go. Now, to be fair, you could take a clip from clips and import it into iMovie. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted, for instance, the automatic dictation feature, you could do that. That's true. Yeah. I could do that. I did that. That was from clips that I just added. There, like there, there yeah. we go. Yeah. If you yeah. want those filters, um, you can just choose those. Because, yeah, that was the cartoon filter that I used. Good point, Leo. Um, and you can use your camera, too. You can shoot right from the camera here as well. Um, so if I wanted to remove this landscape... I delete it, and then I want to add something. I can just use camera and start shooting. It makes you feel like God, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, iMovie. I don't know if it's free if you buy an iPhone or an iPad, but I know it's four ninety nine if you don't. Remember that we uh, picked some time ago um, a program that Jason Clanthus, my old producer, uh, who's now uh, working in uh, video at the uh, for L.A., um, recommended called Muse Mage. And he has done, uh, on his timeline, and I hope you don't mind if I uh, show this, Jason, some really great stuff. This is a Muse Mage uh, filter that uh, is uh, what we call tilt shift. Mm. So it's normal video, but it's using a filter that makes it look like little toy cars on the uh, 405. Isn't that cool? So I think Muse Mage, the, one of the nice things about uh, the iPad is you can use multiple tools and combine things from different tools. So I, I think what is the most reasonable way to use this is to imp to cr use tools like Muse Mage, Clips, uh, you know, Prism, and, or Prisma, I should say, and then make some interesting stuff and then import them into iMovie and then finish the thing in iMovie. Admittedly, that's more work, but, but I think that there is no video application that is going to be easy to use. In fact, I remember when people started doing regular, you know, video editing on computers and later on uh, iOS, I was always, I, you've done, you've had long editing sessions, mm -hmm. right? Sitting in edit bays with an editor, bang, you know, working on Avid, banging your head. I did that in TV for years. And I thought nobody in their right mind would ever choose to do this for fun. So I always thought these video apps, they'll never go anywhere. I was wrong, obviously. There are people who are interested in it. And it's, a, it's fun if you don't mind, but it's a lot of work. Yeah. Well, I think that Clips is more just for sharing, like yeah. social sharing. Yeah. And again, if that's all you're using it for, 
I don't understand why you wouldn't just use Snapchat. Yeah, well, there's another app, the Action Movie FX, which we've showed before. I love that. And it's actually, this, I share that stuff on Twitter all the time. Yeah, I it's just that. fun. So um, it's free, but then they have uh, in-app purchases. Like you can get the Star Wars pack. I've bought a shameful number of packs, <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh, so let's see. I want a, an explosion. And so I am... Whoa, contact I me. actually, and I probably should... I'm, I'm surprised United didn't throw me off the plane. I've used, I've made videos of. of the plane, of the aisle in the plane, and then applied, you know, explosion effects and so forth. This actually comes from Bad Robot, which is the movie production company, mm -hmm. famous. Hi there, Megan. Uh -huh. Are you going to do something mean to me? You are. You're going to do something mean to me. I am absolutely going to do something should I be looking mean over? to you. Tell me if I should look over my shoulder. Recording too short. Hold on, let's see. Let's oh, that's one thing about this. It, you're, what you're going to be doing is you're going to take a movie and then you're going to insert effect in the movie, but the effect has to have a certain length, so your movie has to be longer than the effect. Right, let's see if this worked. It said it was too short, but we'll try it anyway. <laughs> so you don't want to do that on an airplane. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I, this is, they have a lot, I'm going to restore my past purchases because uh, I haven't used it on this iPad before, but the, the Star Wars pack was awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, you can roll BB-8 into a scene. So let's film where I want the FX to hit. Okay. So uh, we'll close that and I'll record just a little bit. Doesn't take too much. Long enough, right? Am I doing it long enough? All right. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to put the FX in it. Okay. And maybe we'll make the FX a little, you can position it, you can make it a little bit better and then say, okay. And then now watch, this is, this is actually introducing BB-8 to our studio. Mm. Isn't that, I mean, it's really well done. Yeah. Isn't that, now I, I turned the sound off. I should get my, uh, I should get my plug, but so that you saw how easy that was. Yes. Now this, you could then save out so, as a clip and put it in your iMovie. Oh. Or share it as a chip. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? I'll send this to you, and you can have the uh, video. Thank you so much. Because I've, you know, so, shared so much valuable yeah. stuff mm -hmm. with you. Oh, you did one. I did one too. Oh, you that bought it favorite. too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, See, you bought it. Who can it resist? Too. Oh, <laughs> I bought it twice now. <laughs> who can resist BB-8? Right. I know. It's true. So the, this is. I'm glad you mentioned this because I think this. Uh, this has been out for some years, and what people don't probably don't know, I didn't realize, is they have um, they've added a lot of effects. Mm -hmm. So um, I can record again and add some uh, special effects to this scene, and then and then you can you can go back and you can select the scene. So I have many different effects I could do. Um, th this even shows you a preview. You showed the missile attack. Have you done the car smash? That's always oh, fun. Do car smash. Car smash is fun. So you just you know you're just sitting here doing iOS today, and then all of a sudden, what the what the what? oh? <laughs> uh, John from the UK said that uh, we we missed one of the best and oldest GTD apps. Things. Things by Cultured Code. Oh, we didn't miss it. I've used Things for years. It's fourteen. It's nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Is it worth it? Um, it's very, very good. You know, I mean, we also talked about OmniFocus, which is even more. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 50 bucks, right? So, it, you know, it depends how badly you want to get things done. <laughs> things is good. That's part of the problem. I wish we had some way of demoing apps in iOS, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, you could use it, I guess, for 15 minutes and then get a refund, but that's not enough time to really try it. Yes, I, I think very, and he does too, right? He said it was good. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think very highly it. of things. Mm -hmm. And they sync all together, so. Yeah, do you want to buy it? Go ahead. No, I have too many to-dos. You know, I probably, I, I, I think I use it on iOS. Things also has a uh, OS X uh, component, right? So I'm pretty sure that mm. it does. Yes, I have. I still own it, so okay. I can download so it. If you want to see it, I could show you. Let's take a look. It's a rare breed, according to the App Store, of productivity manager. It makes organizing complicated to-do lists dead simple. I found, oh, I'm sorry. I found in my life... Uh, in my experience, that a simple to-do app is much more useful for me. I mean, I'm not as bullet journal guy, mm -hmm. but so this is actually the GTD methodology. So you have an inbox. The idea of GTD is 
just dump everything you need to do in here. You know, buy lettuce. And don't do anything else. Don't You don't need to do any dates or times or, you know, uh, kiss the cook. Okay, you just want to get, the, you know, into a trusted system. Uh, you can then later go through it and tag it. Uh, you can filter it by tags. You can move it to different lists. It supports multiple lists. Uh, if you look at the settings, you'll see it has a huge amount of stuff to do, including you can store it uh, on the cloud, which means you can have your to-do. And I think every to-do list that's going to be any good is going to be able to do this. Your to-dos will be uh, everywhere. Kaiser's calling me. I think the results of my test are in. Answer it. Answer it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. That bad? Oh, no. <laughs> it's an automated message. Um, it's probably telling you to get a flu shot. Telling me I'm going to die soon. <laughs> no. Is it flu season already? No. I don't think it is. You can integrate uh, things reminders uh, with Siri, which is nice. So, or Siri reminders. So that means you can enter things into things. Enter to-dos into things. That's confusing. It, using Siri, using the Siri reminders thing, which is a nice feature. Uh, if you don't want to use Apple's reminders, you can have a more uh, robust system. I think he's right. Things is fantastic. I used it for some time, um, and I would highly recommend it. If this looks good to you, I think it's a good thing to look at. What was his name again? So we can... John from the UK. Thank you, John. John. And John? From the UK. John. John? I was just trying to pronounce it in a UK accent. John. 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 <laughs> Marsha. John. Marsha. Uh, there you go. Things. All right. Slow Spin writes, recently I heard something about blue light from sources like <laughs> LCDs and phones. So I did some reading for myself and became a little concerned about what I was finding. Can you break down this very broad topic of blue light and the rumored negative effects? I can tell you me? everything you need to know. Okay. Because Georgia Dow told me, and she's oh, an expert she on sleep. She's a believer in this. Uh, I just saw the other day a cartoon with a woman saying, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. I drank nine cups of coffee today, but at least... There you go. Yes. That's that from The, the Onion. onion. Yeah. Women who drink six cups of coffee a day trying to cut down on blue light at bedtime. <laughs> so here's the science behind it. And it makes science. sense. Uh, blue light is... As we know now, because of cameras and white balancing, what you get from the sun, it tends to be more blue. Inside is more yellow and incandescent. And I presume candlelight and firelight would be that way. So the theory goes that if we are seeing light that has a lot of blue in it, our body thinks it's daytime and we're wide awake. And Georgia says the science kind of confirms this because the blue light... Uh, causes your melatonin, which is what helps you sleep, to drop precipitously. They can actually measure that. Uh, so the theory is if you cut down the blue light, and there's a lot of blue light in all our screens, if you cut down the blue light, and what it ends up making your screen look a little, you know, sepia toned, like a little, like it's sunset, that it won't bother you as much. Now, here's what I think. Okay, there's a science that backs this up. Mm -hmm. But I think part of the problem is, A, you're on a device when you should be sleeping. That device, whatever color the light is, is shining light into your eyes, which does signal, as we know, your body that it's not nighttime. And I don't think humans really know that it's blue outside and yellow inside. I think we know that now because of our cameras. But did you think before you had to do white balance or know about this? Did you go outside and say, boy, it's blue out here? Mm. No. No. And where is the yellow coming from? Candlelight? Firelight? It's, in, in my opinion, the human body knows two things. Is it light or is it dark? If it's light, you're awake. If it's dark, you're asleep. So consider the other things that might be keeping you up, like six cups of coffee a day. <laughs> and even if you have the nighttime mode, and by the way, Apple's does this with iOS. Mm -hmm. There's the night mode. That's what the night mode night does. Shift. Night shift turns it uh, turns down the blue and makes it yellowy or brown, and you can control how much. Even if you do that, in my opinion, your body's still saying, "I'm awake, I'm awake. It's daytime. I've got a light shining in my eyes." Any th any use of your device is going to keep you awake, and having it not have blue, I don't, I know. And so Georgia said, "No, no, the science is there. We see the melatonin level decreasing. It's the, the wavelength. Light. It's a shorter wavelength." The blue light is short wavelength enriched, so says Harvard professor yes. Anne-Marie Chang. I, I, this is a rare case where I am 
uh, saying, who cares about the science? Common sense dictates any light is bad light. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah, so what, I, what you're saying is I don't the nice usually, shift. I don't usually say science is wrong, and it's not wrong. It's demonstrably right. But does that make sense that we would somehow know that it's blue out there and it's not? And what color is it? I mean, did we evolve with firelight and candlelight? No. Okay, so let's say... <laughs> it doesn't it make any sense. Okay, let's say you're talking about maybe if you're just like looking at Reddit or Facebook at 10 o'clock at night... Just when you turn, should be off sleeping, turn off the gosh darn but phone. Let's say you have a job wherein you have to be looking at a screen Then at I would night, submit you shouldn't be sleeping on the job. <laughs> no, well, at saying. night... So this is the theory is... Um, it, look, I mean, in my opinion, if you want to sleep well... Go to sleep and stop messing around with lit up devices. But what if you're? Uh, but what if you have to? Is it yeah, keeping you up? Yeah. Well, it might like be. what if you're a freelancer and you you have to wait till your kids go to bed to work? According to science, it would be better not to have a blue light on. But according to Leo, <laughs> right, uh, it would be better not to have any light on, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, but that's not a choice for everyone. Like what you're saying is, and is like it's stressful to be on a device at all sometimes. Like if you're just looking, there's all kinds of other. Nobody ever things. fell asleep looking at their iPhone. No, that you don't think they did. Have you ever fallen asleep? I haven't. Uh, I have Nobody heard of ever people falling asleep, you like could... falling on their faces because they've fallen asleep. Like Mo yeah. okay, chat room. Ever fall asleep looking into a screen? Whether it was, so the, I guess the question is, are you more likely to fall asleep looking at a screen if it's yellow than if it's blue? Good question. I don't, you I mean, I, I hate to gainsay the science. I just think it, it, it it's not, does not completely make sense to me because I, well, anyway, you're, apparently your, your glands, your pineal gland or whatever it is, is secreting less melatonin if it sees blue light, low, high wavelength light. So don't do that. My suggestion would be maybe go to bed. Yes. <laughs> and turn off. The problem is, th th none of this, nobody ever talked about this until people would lie in bed like this. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people fall asleep this way. No. No. They do not. You do not, in general, my experience, you fall asleep after you turn it off, not after it goes yellow. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's I your think I just put everybody to sleep. Answer. <laughs> Here, let's show No, no. But again. the science is good. And, and everybody agrees, and Apple's done it, Android's done it, uh, Windows, Microsoft Windows is adding it. In fact, the new creator's update that comes today, I think, has a, a, a night shift mode. Everybody's doing it. It sounds like a fad to me, but uh, okay, everybody's doing it, so it must be true. All right, let's 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 open another Pandora's box. VPNs. <laughs> Watching, we got an email uh, from... Oh, you're going to get me again. I know. Watching the most recent <laughs> version of iOS today, when Rick from North Carolina asked about a VTN, VPN, I know our friend Allison Sheridan likes and uses Cloak VPN at getcloak.com. This Good. seems to be a great solution based on her experience. Have you ever used GetCloak? I have not, but I would trust Allison. Uh, the problem with VPN, it's very hard. Everybody's asking because they want now because of the overturn of the ISP privacy regulations. They're thinking, well, I better use a VPN. Um, I, I, I think you'll try it and then go, well, that's, I'm not going to use a VPN. It's good to know that your search results are, are invisible. The ISP Google encrypts those. Your Facebooking is encrypted. Most of the stuff you do nowadays is encrypted and not visible to the ISP. All the ISP can see probably is where you're going. And there's a larger issue with the ISP that a VPN might help, which is if the ISP is injecting ads into your stream. And if that starts happening, you might want to use a VPN. But here's my problem with any VPN, Cloak or anything else, is you're kicking the privacy can, just kicking it down the road. Because now the VPN can see everything the ISP can see. And frankly, so can Google and Facebook. And Google and Facebook can see what you're doing unencrypted. So you're already spewing a lot of data out there. Uh, of, and the problem with the VPN, it slows you down a little bit. You don't necessarily know what the privacy policies of the VPN are. So you want to read those very, very carefully. Because they are going to get everything that the ISP does. Um, and then, uh, you know, um, if there's some often some costs associated. I would say, I, I don't think anybody should use uh, an open Wi-Fi access point without using a VPN. So if you're at a hotel, if you're on vacation, if you're at a coffee shop, that's when you really should have a VPN. So get a VPN. You might want to try using it at home. I think it'll slow you down so much that you'll say, I don't want to use it. And it will limit you in things you can do. For instance, you can't get in our chat room on a VPN. You can't watch Netflix on a VPN. They block those because of people trying to bypass geographic restrictions. And you can't bank. Many banks 
won't let you get through on a VPN. So all of a sudden you'll say, well, I understand the value of this, but boy, it's sure inconvenient. I think I'll just continue on. That's why the law was so important. Mm -hmm. Lawrence from San Diego, uh, you know, he recommends recommended a solution to my AirPod falling out problem. These oh, are soft round muffs. 24 <laughs> pack right, little ear muffs. foam earbuds. He says he's been using them. They fit over the AirPods. And they're just the little things that, yeah, muffs, that's what they're called, right? For microphones, but these are for earbuds. He says they fit in there, they keep them covered. Have you tried them? I haven't, they just arrived. How so exciting. I know, it's By really the way, exciting. I did not steal your AirPods. Okay, a cautionary tale <laughs> about find my AirPods. I did not appreciate that accusation I received late at night. <laughs> Leo, did you take my AirPods? Okay, so no, here's I, an example of <laughs> trusting technology before you trust yourself. I keep my AirPods in the same place all the time. I mm. keep them in a pocket in my bag that I carry around. That's a very good idea. Yes. And you get in the habit of always putting them there. Always putting yeah. them there. So I was at home. I reached into the pocket. Oh, they're not there. Well, I'll just use find my AirPods because why would I even look for anything if I can just use technology? And I, and I tried to use find my AirPods and it said they were here at work when I was at home. And so I thought, oh no, I must have left them. And I, where were they last connected? Here, when we showed them off on the show. And so I thought I must have left them. Rather than do a little more digging, I emailed John, I emailed Burke, have you seen my AirPods? Could you look around? Could you waste your time? Because thing. I haven't wasted my own, I haven't spent I, one more yeah, second. I want you to look instead of having for me to have right. to look. Well, then I pinged them and like, beep, I think, oh, well, they must not be in my purse because I pinged them and, you know, I can't hear them, but they won't ping unless they're Open. connected. Open. Yeah. yeah, they don't ping in the box, A lot people. of good, that ping does that was not it's so if you fall if me. they fall out like when you're yeah walking around but you're right yeah. they're no good if they're in the box yeah I'm are having, you having trouble I'm getting having those trouble on? they're apparently very hard on. to get them. why don't you give Here me one you try I'll, I'll try to do this um because it's like yeah. knitting with one hand I behind know. your back and i'm trying to tell my cautionary tale about trusting yourself before you trust technology so I, I did not take it personally i knew oh yeah then i also asked a because i knew i didn't steal your airpods but uh b because well, i figured you know well, i could have left them right like that like there it is there's that situation and, and the truth is the real reason it didn't bother me these are really hard to get on they are this is you they're should like have, pantyhose you could you just know? use pantyhose you know how like um, ladies like to get together and do art projects? Yeah, this is kind you of what You could probably doing. have have like a little round table of people with their AirPods and little. I call these AirPod hats. <laughs> AirPod hats. They're like little berets for AirPods. Actually, oh, oh. not ooh. okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, try this pantyhose. One. I think it, pantyhose on the AirPod. I think that this actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm they sorry, do. I just pulled it right out of the shot like that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Well, there, there, uh, there's more traction. Yeah, there's more traction. I'm gonna try running in them, and can we'll I, see. Oh, I look, definitely left their AirPods here. I think I'll take them. <laughs> uh, can I keep a couple of these for yeah, my own? Yeah, please, please. You got do. like hundred. I of them. know. There's lots. Did he send them to you? No, I ordered them from Amazon. You got a twenty-four pack. They were like pack. three ninety-nine or something. I know. But I think you could use pantyhose. I mean, I guess they wouldn't I'll be take sealed. Two sets. Okay, you take two sets. You want to count them? No. <laughs> I need to find my AirPod covers. <laughs> um, but I, someone did tweet at me that there is an official like AirPod cover case that, uh, you know, with the little, the wing is what you need. That, that fits you want the, the over ear. the ear thing. Yeah. I forgot who. It's like one of the people that always come out with the, the I have cases. not, yeah, probably Griffin or somebody. I have mm -hmm. not dropped my AirPods uh, or lost them, but I've come real close, you know. Uh, at one point, I left them in my jeans, and they were about they were this close to getting washed. Things like that. So let's let's do the test of whether they fit with oh, the pantyhose. Again, the problem. Oh, yeah, they kind of do. They fit. Pantyhose. They're not nice. It looks like there's a fungal growth on them, but other than that, really? Oh, little, that yeah. Air mushrooms. Well, coming up on the uh, uh, for a future episode of the screensavers, I'm going to show you how to clean your AirPods. I heard. Yes. So for those of you with sweaty pods. That's, I do, I do have that problem. All right, what next exciting thing can I tell you? Oh, Dana Schwartz emailed us on Mac Break Weekly when you were gone and I was filling in for you. Mm -hmm. um, we had a By long... the way, thank you. I didn't oh, thank you welcome. properly for that. Yeah, you didn't thank me that. properly, but thank now you, you have. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was fun. I'll do it anytime. I love Good. those guys. Um, I'm leaving town in June. Okay, I'll be there. I'll be back in July, August, maybe September. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. I think yeah, I thought that's that, fine. I should just take the summer off. Take the, we got it. We got it all take under control. Um, all the Remember people- that when you were a kid, you used to get the summer off? Yep. You didn't know when you were a kid how great that was. Mm-hmm. Like, this is it. This is it. Now you got to live real life. Everyone in my whole house gets the summer off because Margo oh, was a teacher. I think that's so, why my dad became a professor. He wanted yeah, the summer the off. The summer off. It is yeah. nice. Okay, so Dana, uh, so we were talking about seconds. Why are there no? Why is there no Apple Watch face that has seconds? There's plenty of Apple Watch faces that have seconds. There are no what? Apple Watch faces what? that have the really? second hand. Is that true? Mm. Yeah, here. How about this one? I like that second hand. I think that's not, not a second face. hand. That's not a second hand sweeping around there. What are you talking that's about? That's a good question. I think the seconds not in a reg a, a digital digital seconds. Oh, I think you're changing the tune now. Well, I thought it was digital actual seconds, seconds, huh? We oh, need she's to talk right. to Alex Lindsay. Wait a was the one who had she's issues right. with this. She's right. No, and you know how if you ask Siri like set a timer. You know, their timers don't have seconds in them. There's a second issue. So there's second so there hands. So there is a second hand. There's a no sweep second hand second on hand. many faces. But no digital second hand. I so wonder this if is you Alex can customize it, it well, Alex to Alex add. No. You should ask him tomorrow. Oh, it's Lindsay. Yes, Oh, Alex he does Lindsay. know. Yeah, I trust him. Yeah, so no second. Um, that's an interesting question. Okay, so here's what Dana Schwartz said. It would use too much battery. He, well, that's what I said. Yeah. But they said, no, no, no. No? Uh, he said, my theory is that unlike Mac OS, iOS devices do not or cannot use the network time protocol to synchronize their internal clocks and thus never have the exact time. They probably get their time set when backing up, but in between their clocks may drift. This is what NTP is constantly correcting on Unix systems. You can see this by watching the minute changes on iOS things and Mac things. Macs will be precisely synced while iOS will change randomly oh, since there's no ongoing clock correction from NTP. I suspect that if iOS displayed seconds, users would expect them to be precisely real time and will complain when they're not. I think you're both right. Wait, what did I say that was right? Battery. Oh, battery, yeah. But that's why... Because it would be easy enough for any Bluetooth device to keep up, you know, synchronize periodically. But that probably does use battery. Mm -hmm. And so Apple, to save battery life, said, you know what, let's not turn on the radios unless we absolutely have to. But what that also means is there's probably not other synchronization going on between your phone and your watch, or it's not happening very often. Mm -hmm. It would have to, I wonder how much it would drift. I think it would, if, if it happened, if, the, if there were synchronization once every 15 minutes, you'd think that would be enough to keep the seconds pretty close. So I, that, you know, but if they don't do it, it would be just to save battery, I would mm -hmm. think. You've got a, you know, Bluetooth LE connection. In fact, your watch, if I turn off my phone, your watch pretty quickly says I don't see a phone, right? Yeah. That would be a measure of it. Shall I try that and see yeah. how long it takes? All right, so let's... Uh, well, I'll measure it with... Oh, no, I can't measure it with seconds. You don't have a second hand. <laughs> Uh, but no, if I turn off no, my I phone... I do have a second hand. On uh, my actually, I, won't, I don't need to turn it off. I'll take it back. If I turn on uh, airplane mode, right? That would do it. So let's, let's do airplane mode on my phone and disconnect it from connectivity. And I do this on the, uh, on the airplane all the time. In fact, what they recommend is that you do it on the watch, not on the airplane. Let's see. Start counting. How long after I switch it? Ready? Three, two, one. How long before it says, I don't see a phone? That green phone in the upper right-hand corner means it's connected. That'll shift to a red phone. Oh, yeah. There it goes, right there. So it was three or four seconds. Mm -hmm. So it tells me uh, it probably could check and update its time. Let's see how long it takes before I turn it back on before it sees it. Right away. Okay, so here's so what... So it's, it's talking to the phone. The activity face, Scooter X pointed this out, and I think Renee also pointed this out, the activity face has seconds. Oh, that's the one I prefer, actually. You, so this whole thing... Wait, what does it? Cut this whole... Where, well, what's ticking over there? Yeah, 41, seconds. 42? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's the one I actually prefer. Yeah. Hmm. You don't like... Do you want to cut this out of the show? <laughs> that's just wrong! <laughs> it's wrong in every respect. No, no, let's not cut it out because... This show is really mostly about me looking like an idiot. Or me looking like an idiot today. That's what we should that's rename funny. it. There really, uh, there really is, and I should have known because that's my preferred I face. Don't remember, now I don't recall what we were talking about because I know Alex, uh, I think that Renee said that and Alex was like, I don't want that one. It reminds me of when my college roommate said, you know, music's amazing because there's nothing in real life that has a steady beat. <laughs> and I said, well, I think my heart does. <laughs> and he said... Okay, I gotta rewrite my thesis. 
<laughs> That's kind of so what just happened Sometimes you here. get that in your mind. You yeah. think, oh, there's no, what does that mean? And there's, yeah, there's a second hand right here. Yeah. Well, because you, you can measure seconds on the acti when you're doing activity, too. This is an example, though. The last few minutes have been an example of how it's important to think for yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So blue light, I know Scientific American said it's bad for you. And I respect Scientific American. But I think for myself. Mm -hmm. And I do believe in witches. <laughs> All right, I have one more thing that I uh, heard from a viewer that I don't think will make me or you look like an idiot, but, you know, hey. there's always time. <laughs> Sean Raidley messaged me on Twitter to ask if my iPhone doesn't let me tap into applications in the settings to see the outdated incompatible apps, does that mean I don't have any? Megan, Megan, what's on your shoulder? Look at your, your left shoulder, quick. Look at your left shoulder. Look at it. Okay, good. All right. So the question is, we talked about uh, incompatible apps. Do you remember that? That the iOS 10.3 is going to notify you if you have incompatible apps. Do you remember that? No. <laughs> yes, I do. That was a 32-bit app problem. Right. Okay. So what if, so when we went in, I had like four or five, and Sean wants to know, well, I went in, it was grayed out. Does that mean I don't have any? And the answer is yes. So I'll show you. Ah. Uh, general, That's a nice tip. That's a good yes, tip. General about and then applications. So Apple with iOS 10.3 has now moved to all 64-bit OS. They'll, they say we aren't going to support any 32-bit apps. And there are a lot of older apps that are 32-bit. Mm -hmm. So I have four. But if you have none, then it won't show this. It will just, it won't let you click there. There'll be nothing there. So it could be a little bit better on the UI and say zero there, but... Yeah. It's so there again. Look on your left shoulder. All right. I think I got it this <laughs> that time. Is, there is actually something on. I took my uh, earpiece out. Uh, All uh, right. Is it time to... Um, I don't know, but look work? at this movie okay, I made. Okay, it's time to look at the movie. Say zero there, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's there again. Look at <laughs> That was good. That was good. That was pretty scary. That was pretty scary. That's, I think, the one I did on the airplane that I thought I might Say get thrown off. There, but, yeah. It's there again. Look at that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll tweet that one. <laughs> Please do. Please do. I'll mastodon it. You know what they call a mastodon? Why do we both look like Frank Sinatra all of a sudden? Good question. They call it tooting. What? Oh, and on Mastodon, <laughs> yes. the Twitter. We should do that next week. We'll talk about Twitter clones, but it's not really an app, is it? Uh, there is an app. There's an app on iOS called okay. Amarok. So we are wearing hats because it's app cap time. Oh, and we like to look like Frank Sinatra. Yes, we do love to look like Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. And I, after this show, I need to relax. This was stressful. It was about the most stressful show it we've really ever was. done. It really was. I'm really uh, a I'll give you three guesses how I like to relax with my Apple Pencil. <laughs> really? I'll give you no Do guesses. Do you want to give me no. three? Do you really want to give me three no. guesses? I'll give... I Do like... You, is that really adult, your idea? Adult coloring books. Ah. You know what's interesting? Uh, the sales of adult coloring books have plummeted, putting many brick-and-mortar bookstores in financial straits. Plummeted... Down. Yes, it was all the rage, right? It was actually keeping bookstores alive. But now people are over but it? But people are over it. Because they buy them. Or them. it may be that you yeah. could blame the iPad. You could. This is called Lake. There are a lot of different coloring apps. Um, I like this one because the... Uh, it's made the drawings are by artists and you can support the artists so it's free and then you get one free a day first one's free um and then you can buy so here's the free one that i got today and i i did some coloring here you can do different choose the colors i'm going to try yellow i'm going to use a paintbrush and uh, you can see that i'm just coloring and it's not stressful at all because i have the stay in the lines feature on which i can turn off if i want to be more exact and, you know, have to really stick, see, oh, there, I'm bad at coloring in the lines. See, I think this is actually a perfect application for uh, the iPad Pro. I like that. I do. do yeah, that's fun. And, you know, you get unlimited, whoops. Oh, I just Do not use the fill. <laughs> oh, Why? God. It's soothing. Yeah, soothing. Now you're even more stressed out. Um, <laughs> I think it's a really good uh, idea for... Uh, the iPad. Yeah. Instead, maybe this is, I mean, I was joking, but maybe it really is kill, killing uh, 
Maybe. Uh, yeah. So how, how you have to buy books, obviously. Well, right? you have one free a day, and so I have 19 oh, hours nice. uh, to get another free one. But I... Um, you can support, like, I like Victoria Johnson. That's pretty. Who um, doesn't? And I'm going to choose... Is she the artist or a She's model? the artist. These oh. are all artists. Um, and you could, they'll also suggest a color palette for you. Look, Victoria put together a color palette, especially for you. So the artist chooses the colors. You can, you know, color in the lines, too, and everything. And I need to do some spray painting, don't you Sweet. think? Sweet! Um, this should be blue. Sweet! Um, Lake. Free app. L a k e. L a k e. One I a day. I like lake. One a day. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, speaking of lakes, my app cap is a red herring. A red herring. This is Colleen told me about this, oh. and uh, and I saw it, and I said, uh oh, and I said, Lisa and I are going to get hooked. This is a very simple uh, game. How much was it? I think ninety nine cents. Not expensive. Maybe maybe it's free because it's ad supported. You want to play? Mm -hmm. I do want to play. So let me explain how it works. You get and the, what made me think of this is the daily. You get free daily puzzles, and then I think it is ad supported within app purchases because you can buy more puzzles uh, for ninety nine cents. They're not expensive, but when you buy it, you get quite a few puzzles. You get fifty puzzles. So I've played a few of these. Y you ready to do one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you could do easy, normal, or hard, or as Red Herring calls it, safe harbor, smooth sailing, or deep water. I say smooth sailing. Normal. Okay. What do you think? Do you think easy? Should we start easy or go? No, hard? I, I always play hard. Okay. Okay. So normal is I partially solve the puzzle, but I'm not going to tell you the category names. Oh. Each column is a category. The red herring column isn't. Um. It's extra words. The idea is to combine words to complete the column. But you know, I in this case, it. It, it, you'll know what the category is in the easy version. Right. Uh, in this case, colon, duodenum, esophagus, parts of the Body. stomach. Blunk. Stomach. Ellipsis, comma, uh, sounds like punctuation, right? Yeah. And dash and period. Yeah. Oh. So this makes it look really easy. Except now what? Mm. Uh, hurdle, hasten, speed and rush. Yes, it's hey. hurry. So that was an easy one. You want to play another one? And we'll do it this time. Yeah, let's do hard. A little harder. So, oh. again, we're going to put, organize these words to fit a category. Got this it. one looks easy. Grape, banana, orange. strawberry, orange. Hmm. That seems right, but there's only one right answer. Maybe it's oh. watermelon. Yeah. So orange probably is used in a different category. Maybe orange things, carrot, orange... No, I don't see anything else orange. Mm. Sun? The sun? Mm. The sun is the orange. The sun is orange. All right. Mm. And I have an orange bubble, but that's apparently not right. My tulip is orange, but that's not right. Mm. I got an idea here. Ball, orange, sun. Mm. What is in common with those three things? They're all Ralph. spheres. Spheres. So now, this, I tell you what, this will get you, keep you going for hours. It's red herring. It's free with in-app purchases. You want to do another one? Yes. So we've got left. Now, four of these words are not going to be used. They're the red herring words, which is we don't know which oh. four. We've got rose. Carnation. Carnation. Daisy. Tulip. Daisy tulip. And tulip. I think you're right. So let's put those all together. <gasps> Good job. Well Occasionally done, ads will pop up. Um, I think it's, you want to play one more? Of course. Because I think you're very good at this. All right. Cogitating, aperture, drape, blind, musing, flash, curtain, viewfinder, baseball, deaf, ice, shade, smooth, lens, thinking. I think cogitating, thinking, musing, and... Mm -hmm. I was going to say shutter, blinds, drapes. I like it. I like shade. it. Shutter. Blinds, drapes, shade. Blinds. Where's... Bl oh, blind. Blind. Mm. Maybe curtain and drape. Drape. No. Or maybe... Drape, curtain, shade. Shutter. Instead Sh of blind. Shade. Let's try it. Oh, instead of shutter. Well, that means shutter's used somewhere else. Oh. And shutter might be used. Shutter, lens, oh. aperture. Camera thing. Flash. No. Maybe viewfinder. Hmm. Maybe... See, that's the problem is... There's only one right answer that come, that lets you make three full columns. I feel very confident that these are parts of a camera. Shutter, lens, viewfinder, and aperture. Flash is also. Hmm. Well, there's cogitating, thinking, musing. That's the same problem. 
Same problem. Hmm. What do you think, kids? What do you think? Where do we go with this one? Anyway, I'll leave this as a uh, as a challenge because one negative of this is that if your husband's doing it or if my wife's doing it, they'll get the same puzzles. So the puzzles are not random there, and so once they solve it, they know the answer to that puzzle. So uh, you know you 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 should probably play different groups or something like that to make mm -hmm. it. Fun. It's really a great game, and it kind of—I think it's probably good for your brain. It's called Red Herring, and it's free with in-app purchases. Awesome! We've done it again. Again? We've done it all. We've oh done everything gosh. we needed to do today, and more. Mm -hmm. And more. A lot more. Yeah, ways to soothe yourself. Ways to send videos. What's your favorite Sinatra song? Fly me to the moon. Fly me to the moon. Let me swing among the stars. Take me on a journey out to Jupiter and Mars. In other words, please be true. I'm making up the lyrics here. In other words, I love you. Hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS Today. We'll be here all week.